Hey guys. When I was driving home yesterday evening, I crossed the path of another car coming from the other way. Now the headlights were so bright that I couldn't see anything for a few seconds. A friend of mine told me it's because of the bad cutoff line. But what does that mean exactly? So today's expert is Lucas Cooper, and he will lead our way. Before talking about the cutoff line, we first need to understand the difference between high and low beam. Every car is equipped with two lighting functions. High beam reflectors are designed to give you maximum visibility. They throw all the light from the bulb straight ahead thus providing optimal illumination at farthest distances. The high beam should only be used when there are no oncoming vehicles within 100 meters. Low beam, on the other hand, should be used when there is someone in the opposite direction. It is the most common use. A properly aligned low beam reflector illuminates a range of 75 meters in the direction of the oncoming drivers and up to 100 meters along the driving lane. This avoids glaring any other road users. Of course, regarding low beam, having brighter light with LED retrofit bulbs, for instance, is always good. But it is also useless if not directed at the right place on the road where the driver needs it the most. Ah, okay, so if I hear you right, you're saying that the automotive bulbs should actually only light a certain portion of the road ahead. Absolutely. This is where the cutoff line intervenes. It is the area in front of the car where the light level drops from maximum intensity to a very low level. Thus, the cutoff line separates the illuminated zone on the road and the area where, for example, the oncoming drivers approach. It is also called glare zone. In this area, the light level should be very low in order to ensure the safety of every road user. The position of the cutoff line, as well as the light intensities above and below the line, are defined by minimum and maximum intensity values. These values are given in the ECE automotive lighting regulations for halogen bulbs. If the cutoff line is not at the right distance, it's dangerous for oncoming drivers but also for the driver. In this example, the cutoff line is far beyond 75 meters in the direction of the oncoming driver. It means there is a lot of glare above this line. This will dazzle the oncoming drivers. In this second example, the cutoff line is far below 75 meters. It means there is not enough visibility range to break in time when driving at speeds of more than 70 km per hour. This will significantly increase the risk for an accident. That makes sense, but to sum it up, if the cutoff line is in the right position, then I know that you and the oncoming traffic will be safe. Now I'd like to upgrade my car with LED retrofit bulbs, but how do I know as a driver if the light beam is going to be good? Actually. ECE regulations provide instructions for optimal driving conditions and safe light for halogen car bulbs. Our Philips LED retrofit bulbs are consequently following these to ensure that drivers have optimal light distribution for safe driving. Regulations state that every beam pattern of a halogen headlight requires a minimum light intensity close to the cutoff line between 50 and 75 meters. On the border of the driver's lane, for instance, you need a minimum light intensity of about 10,000 candela. Candela describes the amount of light which is illuminated in a certain direction. What matters is the amount of light. It is given in lumens in the direction between 50 and 75 meters, which is just below the cutoff line. Unfortunately, when choosing the LED retrofit bulbs, some drivers might look at the number of lumens the bulb may emit in any direction. What counts for safety is only the amount of light which is emitted in the direction just below the cutoff line where the driver needs it the most on the road. 
Let's take an example of a LED retrofit bulb claiming 3800 lumen. As you can see here, this bulb produces a lot of glare. Its cutoff line doesn't even exist. The bulb is very bright, yes, but it lacks the precision. That's why we are using candela instead of lumen to assess a light beam pattern. In comparison, here is the cutoff line of our Philips Extreme Altilon LED. So then to put it in a nutshell, we must assess LED retrofit light beams using candela. Indeed. Also in order to identify good beams, some smartphone apps offer to measure in lux your headlights IMAX. IMAX is the maximum light illumination on the road. Unlike Candela, Lux describes the amount of light on a certain area. IMAX is a first assessment, but it's not enough to tell if a beam is good or bad. The question is not how much the maximum light illumination is, but where it is placed on the road. The maximum light illumination needs to be measured close to the cutoff line between 50 and 75 meters in front of the car. The light intensity in this specific direction is what we call the FOM. It goes for figure of merit. There is a minimum legal requirement regarding the amount of light on the road. It is measured at three specific points. One at 50 meters in the center of the driving lane. One at 50 meters on the right border of the driving lane. And one located at 75 meters on the right border of the driving lane. This one carrying double weight. The formula is the following. 2 times 75R plus 50R plus 50V. The more light you have into this area, the better you'll see on the road and thus have time to react and avoid obstacles. Here goes our Philips LED retrofit bulbs. In conclusion, a safe LED retrofit bulb should project the light properly within the form area and without glaring the oncoming driver. That's what our Philips LED retrofit bulb do. We also have developed a technology dedicated to LED retrofit bulbs and called Philips Safe Beam. It allows our powerful light beam to be directed exactly where it is most needed on the road. With more precise control of light, drivers have greater visibility, making the nighttime driving better, safer, and more exciting. Are you guys ready to drive safely at night? I know I am. Well, that's all for today, but I'll see you again in the next episode. In the meantime, keep your headlights on and lead the way. Innovation and you, Phillips.